Welcome to the Thomas Meeple Railway, where the adventures are adequate and the voice acting is written. Ha! Ah, what a glorious day it is here on the Meeple Railway. When did you agree, Gordon? Yes it is, Henry. Nothing like the fresh smell of recyclable wood on a Thursday afternoon. Indeed. Oh, look, here comes Edward. Hi, Edward! <laughs> what a lovely chap. Uh, Gordon, how come you didn't whistle to Edward? I don't talk to that guy. What? He's one of our oldest friends on the island. Did you two get into an argument recently? Nope, no argument. I just don't like the way he looks right now. That's a very confusing statement. Oh, hey, here comes Percy. Hi, Henry. Did you see Eddie, the, I mean, Edward, puff through here? Yeah, we did. I have to say, for his age, he sure looks mighty healthy. Hey, Gordon, how are you? Hmm. Ah, no feeling it today, are you? Tell you what, have yourself washed down, you'll feel better. Gordon, what the crap was all that about? Nothing, I tell you. Little engines need to mind their own business before interrupting others. Something's going on with you, and I don't like it. Oh, Yerk, James is coming through. I know he'll cheer you up. Hello, James! <sighs> okay, Mr. Pouty Bottom, what's going on with you today? What are you talking about? First of all, you didn't say hi to Edward. Then you were completely rude to Percy, and you didn't bother to say greetings to James either! I remember earlier you didn't like the way Edward yucked. Do you have the same issue with Percy and James as well? I don't have- Ah, oh, bother. Yes, I have an issue with how they look. What is it with the way they yuck that makes you so cross? They've got no domes. Excuse me? None of them have any domes! Have you ever seen a domeless engine? They just backstab you and toss you into a pond like you were nothing. Never trust domeless engines. They're not respectable or trustworthy. You know what, Gordon? That has got to be the most hypocritical statement you said this month! Edward, Percy, and James have been great friends of ours for a very long time. And just because they're domeless engines all of a sudden, you're going to forget about the great character and how they always been there for us just now? Now, don't get me wrong. I love them like they're my own brothers. And another thing I might add. Does that mean we can't no longer be friends anymore? Because newsflash, I'm domeless too! Wait, you are? When did this happen? And to further add on to my point, have you even yucked at yourself in the mirror lately? Mirror? Do I have a zit on me or- Oh no! You're not saying? Yes, I am. Don't be silly, Henry! I'm not a- It's heresy! Have a yuck for yourself. No! It can't be! This can't be real! This is impossible! Henry... When did this... When did I... It's okay, Gordon. We've all become domeless ever since we came onto this railway. But I hope this will make you change your mind about your silly philosophy about domeless engines. Not to mention, Emily's always been domeless. So... There's that. I've got a lot to think about. If you need me... I'll just be off meditating. Never trust domeless engines. They're not respectable. Oh, yes, hello. I would like to have two dozen bagel sandwiches, please. With a hot latte and a chocolate muffin just for my imaginary wife. Sir, for the umpteenth time, this is a bus stop. Ho ho ho, you're a funny baker, man. Now remember, I'm allergic to eggs, so don't- Ah, my leg! Oh, my poor bagels. Oh ho ho ho. Uh, I can explain, sir. You see- You know what? 
just for that, Gordon, you're my new vegan bagel shop now. Wait, and what, what no, do you no, call no, this no, service? No, I mean, it's sir. horrible. You don't have any bagels, you don't have any sandwiches, and you don't have any bagel sandwiches. I swear, I went to the last bagel, the bagel shop, and it was horrible, horrible. I go to this one.